Hello everyone. This is a brief video to introduce the concept of controlled flow statements in Java and to provide a high level overview of the three distinct categories of controlled flow statements that exist in Java. Okay. First and foremost, the statements that exist inside your Java source code files are generally executed from top to bottom in the order that they appear. So effectively what we're saying is that the logical flow of a Java program is normally sequential from top to bottom. So that is the default position. But the ability to alter the logical flow of a program is referred to as a flow of control. Now we've already briefly mentioned that the default flow of control in Java is sequential. However, there are three other conceptual ways of managing the flow of control. The first one is via selection. The statements to be executed are conditional on the values of data items. And a classic example of a selection statement is an if statement, which we have here on the left-hand side. Okay? I shall demonstrate this in another video tutorial. The second conceptual way of managing the flow or altering the flow of control is via looping. And when we loop, we effectively repeat the same set of statements for different data items. So a classic example there is a for loop or a while loop. And lastly, method calls are also another way to alter a flow of control. And with a method call, we transfer the flow of control to a method, and the statements inside that method are executed sequentially, and then the method either returns with a value or simply returns without a value. It depends on the method signature. Was it declared with a void or declared with a data type to return, such as int, float, etc., or an object indeed? So, in summary, control flow statements are used to decide which statements or blocks of code will be executed next. And control flow statements break up the flow of control by employing decision-making, looping, or branching statements. I shall close by highlighting briefly the three distinct categories of control flow statements. The first category are what we classify as decision or selection control flow statements. And they are the if-then statement, the if-then-else, and the switch statement. The second category are looping, or what we call iteration control flow statements, and they are the while loop, the do while loop, and the for loop. And lastly, we have what's called branching control flow statements, and they will be our more advanced, as in break and continue and return. That's all I wish to say about control flow at this stage. I shall have brief video tutorials that describe the other ones in detail.